So today I'm going to look at this power adapter here. It's just a simple USB power adapter and it's rated at 5 volts, 2 amps. And this is actually being used on the SCAM NVR, which I've had for a while now. So let's pull this thing apart and see if we can find out why this thing basically died. A couple of screws, don't have to crack it open, looks of it, so that's quite nice. Okay, terminals on there. There it is. This is dead. Chip has exploded. So I was going to, you know, use this thing here and go. It's always a capacitor. Turns out today it's not. It's a, it's a chip which has died. Look at that. Chip's blown off it. Yeah, this has had a power surge somehow. See, got some soldering here. I think I actually replaced these caps because it died once before and I had it working again. I think I did a video on it maybe. So I placed these caps and they're still going. But uh, yeah, the chip's blown up, so that's the end of that. Oh well. Am I going to reverse engineer it? Hell no. I'm not Clive. But I will tell you how it goes, probably. There's a switch mode power chip. That's an autocoupler. There's a tie capacitor here, so it links the sides together. So you've got an earth path. You've got a high voltage capacitor here. You've got a bridge rectifier right there. Small filter inductor. So AC comes in, goes through the filter, goes through the bridge rectifier, which powers the chip, and that has that switching system in it, which pulses the transformer. Transformer then generates a lower voltage, which is fed back via the autocoupler to confirm the voltage, basically. The chip then adjusts its output to adjust the feedback it gets. It's pretty common circuit. There's nothing too special about that. She's dead, Jim. She's dead. Can't fix that. 